And what have you discovered about yourself as a writer? I'm nowhere near as cool, calm and collected as I thought I was. Um, <laughs> and also that there is a real, there is a real wrestle with self, a, a self-belief, I guess, or a, se a sense of um, permission to tell story. And I don't really, haven't uncovered what the root of that is yet. It's still an ongoing process, but actually, yeah, I think one of the things that is important for me is that as a first time writer, the other people who maybe also feel that, you know, that their story maybe doesn't have a space or a place or somehow your story has to be extraordinary in order to have um, any validity in being told um, that there is actually, that's not, not the case at all. And I think one of the things that I'm grateful for in this process is a sense of ownership of my own story um, and lots of other stories that have yet to be told. But um, I'm, not, I'm no longer apologising for wanting to tell a story. I think that's good advice for MD and I think sometimes you need to hear from people on that journey where you are at the very beginning to go sit down and write. I, because I was just like, ah, I can do this. this, how hard can this be? I cannot do this at all. No, no, it's all right, I can do this. No, I can't do this at all. And then bring other people who have skill sets and talent and abilities into the mix and, and you. And, <laughs> um, <laughs> and you go, you know, thankfully you've got those people to freak out with, you know, and go, help. And then they go, sit down, shut up, it's all right. You know, just go away and write. And, um, but yeah, I've no interest in pretending that I've had it all together this whole process or that I've never had a moment of um, real self-doubt I have and but I'm so grateful for that because even in amongst that experience that process that wrestling um, there's been a growth for myself